Now I want to rewatch Hudsucker Proxy. Mm-hmm. With my shirt about? Off. Tim Robbins invents a hula hoop. Interesting. Yeah. That's the whole movie? Yeah, that's my synopsis. Pass. Yeah. No it, thanks. It's one of the shittier Coen Brothers movies. Oh, that's them? Mm-hmm. Damn, I just watched uh, Barton Fink. Oh, love it. Solid-ass flick. It's one of my my top ten movies. Love that. Love Frazier's dad in there, too. Yeah. Love to see Frazier's dad cutting loose, being a good actor. Yeah. Not just He's, being like, boy, my sons are gay. Yeah, him as that fucking Faulkner character is like amazing. Yeah, he rules. When he's just fucking throwing up in the bathroom from alcohol poisoning. <laughs> and then he comes out, a good afternoon. <laughs> dude, that was yeah. the dream. Imagine mm-hmm. if that system existed, dude. Somehow off the strength of this dumbass podcast, we get to just have a, a contract with a, a film studio yeah. and they just bury all our work and just pay us to do nothing you're under contract you're going to stay that way anything you write is going to be the property of capital pictures and capital pictures is not going to produce anything you write yeah i don't know if faulkner actually wrote movies and if that's based on like a true story or something but there was a period where it was either like fitzgerald or one of those that era of like esteemed writers had a period where they were just writing pictures but yeah you just go out to hollywood and just pump out garbage yeah, <laughs> like, you know, like literally because they did couldn't have algorithms. If they had algorithms, they would just use that. Yeah, but it didn't exist. They're like, listen, Faulkner, we need a wrestling picture. Yeah. <laughs> he yeah. either needs to get pussy or he's got to have an adopted child. Yeah, love that dude. Yeah, I wish I could do that shit and yeah. then get pussy for my secretary. There's so many great, secretary. great performances. That fucking scene with I don't even know that actor's name, but the the producer. The big studio head when Barton first gets. Oh, Hollywood. that guy rocks, dude. Yeah. That guy is so fucking good in it. Uh, yeah. He's, he's unbelievable. Say whatever the hell you want. The writer is king here at Capitol Pictures. You don't believe me? Take a look at your paycheck at the end of every week. That's what we think of the writer. That's such like a it's such a Hollywood vibe, which is like, we love you. Everyone's obsessed with your shit. <laughs> right. We can't wait to see what you do. And then in the second, it's not like exactly like, what okay. they want. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck is your problem? You're actually yeah. my enemy and I will fucking kill you. I will kill yeah. your family. Yeah. <laughs> I loved it. I loved I uh all the uh internalized anti Semitism. That was mm-hmm. a nice part of it also. Yeah. Them just saying it to each other. You think the whole world revolves around whatever rattles inside that little kike head of yours. The Kessler. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That guy rules. What else? Yeah, where is it? What else has that motherfucker been in? I don't know. Probably like probably on Wishbone. And Tony Shalhoub out there. Tony Shalhoub. A lot of people are horny for Tony Shalhoub, I feel like. What do you mean? I think that's out there in the in the zeitgeist. Okay. Michael Lerner is an American character actor. Nice. Nominated for an Academy Award for Michael, Best I'm a learner how to suck this dick. Barton Fink. Uh, he got nominated for that? Yeah, he got nominated for Best Supporting Actor. For Respect. He deserved it. Mm-hmm. Let's see. What else is he in here? Um, <laughs> he's in a movie called He's in a movie called Busting. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a 1974 film directed by Peter Hyams in his theatrical debut starring Elliot Gould and Robert Blake as Los Angeles police detectives. Oh, hell yeah. And oh, is the inspiration for Starsky and Hutch? Wow. But let's see. At what point do a couple they... of detectives that could not help but bust in their pants? Yeah, that, I mean, I'm hoping they were famous should... for coming. I don't have it down here. What time did we bust it? I said it was after six. Um, is it a comedy? Do they bust? What is this? Do they do? bust? Do they? Have, uh, Gould uh, looks like he busts. Uh, Mr. President, uh, do they bust in the movie? <laughs> in the uh, movie, busting. Yes. Mr. President, uh, let me be clear. Yes, yeah. they bust and they're uh, gay. Michael Butts, but Cheek Soliano, uh, Channel Six News. Uh, do in the movie busting? Do the characters bust in their pants? Uh, yes, they do. And also, Michael, uh, you're gay. Uh, you're Dude, gay? I actually talked to Barack Obama and I asked him what is what's mm-hmm. one way that mm-hmm. we can solve the pan? What are two things we need for to solve the pandemic? And you know what he told me, Nick? What? Got to have them ribs mm-hmm. and pussy too. <laughs> That's what? Like, wow. Nice. That's really interesting, Mr. President. Um, what, is that from his book? No, I don't know. I just saw it on the internet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Gotta have them ribs. And pussy, too. <laughs> <laughs> 
And honestly, I respect that's actually that's what I think you have to have too. Gotta have them ribs. And pussy too. Gotta have them ribs. And pussy pussy too. Thank you. Are my are my ribs ready yet? Yeah, I'm going back to my Okay.